Hello and welcome to the Shaken Up Show Playing Away Episode 2, the show where we get to know our upcoming opponents. This week's guest is Craig Brennan, chairman of Cheadle Town FC, and he is coming on to tell us all about what we can expect this Saturday. Hi Craig, how are you doing? Good, thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you're very welcome. We're very much looking forward to the game on Saturday. So while I'm, I'll crack straight into this, because... Um, I know you're probably very busy, so thank you for giving us your time to come on. Uh, can you introduce yourself? Uh, tell us a bit about your role at the club. Yes, so my name's Craig Brennan. I'm the uh, chairman at Cheadle Town Football Club. I took that role on back in 2000 and what would have been 2018 when um, I actually bought the club. So I'm the, I'm the owner, I'm the, the chairman of the club. Excellent. Okay. Um, so Cheadle Town, obviously in Cheadle. Um, Whereabouts in Cheadle are you based? What's the stadium called? Just so our fans sort of know where they're coming on uh, on Saturday. So we're literally slap bang in the middle of um, Cheadle Village, really. If you come into the traffic lights from the A34, you'll have um, a pub straight in front of you. Um, and if you turn left there for about 200 yards on the, on the right-hand side, there's a, another street sign pointing to, uh, to where we are. So we're at the end of Park Road. The stadium's called the Park Road Stadium been called that for a number of years well before I was born I think so that was fantastic and the pub at the top of the road I'm sure our lot will be very very glad to hear that um so has the club got a nickname do you have it do you have a nickname we don't as a club no we, we have Cheadle Town it's something we've talked about over the last couple of years but I find it's not something you can really en- engineer it's something that generally the fans choose themselves so we didn't want to go down that route of, uh, of just choosing something for having its sake so we've not got one yet but if someone if, if, if one comes out of woodwork at some point we'll be, uh, we'll be happy to see that we're, we're, I mean we're very much the same we haven't got an official nickname um, obviously with the connection to Berry FC some people still call us the Shakers yeah. it's a point of contention among some people but it is what it is the fans will do what they want to do won't they um, and eventually you never know the people of Cheadle Town might come up with a, a banging nickname one day and, and it'll just stick. They might be, and hopefully we'll hear it being cheered in the stands. Definitely, definitely. Are there, um, are there any interesting facts about your club? Have you developed any players that have gone on to to do great things or any, any wacky facts about where they've played or who they've played? or? Yeah, there's quite a lot, actually. One thing the club has got, um, it's not won lots of silverware uh, in its history, but it's got a lot, it has actually got a lot of history. So it's the most travelled non league club um, in the UK. We've played 96 games abroad. We, um, before I got involved in the club a few years ago, there was plans to do four games abroad uh, in, in China and have the 100th game um, in China. And um, that didn't happen in the end. I think funding um, put a stop to that, but it's one of the most, well, it is the most travelled non league club in the UK. Um, it was used, I think, during the 1966 World Cup. It was used as a training base for the Portugal national team. Um, Eusebio has had visits there and does done a soccer school for um, for the club in 19, I don't remember, in the 1970s. That was, um, and the actual heritage of the club itself, its, it's original use was it was Manchester City's training ground before they moved to Platt Lane. They've since obviously then gone on to to Carrington and then to where they are now. But it used to be uh, Manchester City's training on there. I think it was in the very early 60s so a lot of history and a lot of um, a lot of cool things that have gone on at the club and the ground. Excellent I think I saw a social media post not so not so long ago about the Eusebio thing I yeah. think your guys might have put that out um, yeah. so getting into more modern day obviously we've had some ropey seasons with Covid caught curtailing things and um calling leagues off and everything being put to a stop but the last full season um what league were you guys in where did you finish um so we were same league we're in now so uh northwest counties division one south where we've been for i think the history of the club um and i think we finished eighth uh, in the team, so we, we had a very poor start to the season. Uh, we had a change in managers, and then we went on an unbeaten run of about 14, 15 games. We ended up fifth, and then we lost a, lost a game and draw a game, and ended up just missing off on the playoff. Uh, I think on the automatic promotion places at that point. So, uh, mixed, bit of a mixed bag of a season, if I'm honest. Are you looking to build on that this season, then? 
yeah, like I say, it's been a it's been a non for everyone. It's been a stop start for you, a few months or eighteen months. So we're, we're looking to uh, first of all just getting back to playing some football in front of in front of fans is the key thing. Um, there's been the restructure now in the league, so I think there's a lot of teams that were, were throwing what I call daft money at it have, have now been moved up. So it'd be a really well contested league uh, division this season. So I'm looking forward to that. Are you as gutted as us about the trip to the Isle of Man? Oh no! In fact, you've got it back, haven't you? You're in the south. You've got it. You've got it back. We we were so looking. We were looking forward to that away day so much, and then and then it was cruelly taken away from us. Yeah, no, but we we were the other way around. So we were supposed to play in the first game of last season. We were supposed to be away. We were their first game um, at, at, at away at Island Man. So we were going to be sort of their first official league game, and then that got obviously kiboshed because of, because of lockdown. And then we got fat, got told we were moving into the north. That was disappointing. And then. We got told on Saturday they were coming back into ours. So again, up and down emotions. It'll be a great away day. And uh, it's just one of them, uh, the talk in our WhatsApp group was, let's just hope that we don't get drawn away at the Isle of Man on Boxing Day. (laughs) Yeah, I don't think the wives and girlfriends and partners will be keen on that that trip. Definitely not. Well, getting back to to your team, are there any particular players we should watch out for? Um. Yeah, there's a, there's a few definitely. We, um, it, again, it depends what kind of player you, 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 you're interested in watching. But we've got um, Pat Davin, who was lead, he's been league top goal scorer for the last couple of seasons. Um, six foot three, six foot four, he is probably double the height of me anyway. Uh, can't miss him. Peter Crouch like player, but he's deceptively quick. He's got a brilliant touch. Knows where the back of the net is. Um, so he's one to watch. Um, we've got, you know, we've got we've got some fantastic young players as well. We've got uh, our captain um, Warren, who's been at the club for years and played at this level for a long time as well. And our keeper Marcus is, you know, um, Great Britain um, University's goalkeeper, very experienced. So we've got some really good players and good experience. And we've added some some youth as well um, over the the the, the, season, the close season. So we're looking forward to seeing some of those. Excellent. It'd be good to get to see them run out because we've had some new players come in and and nobody's got to see them play yet. So. Uh... It'd be, it'd be a good a good day. So with with us being the 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 new the new boys in town, we are sort of asking clubs when we speak to them. So what what are the initial? You've played us, so you've you've yeah. sort of been there. What what are your thoughts ahead of the game on Berry? What are you expecting from us play wise? What type of game do you think you're gonna get? I think we're gonna get. I'd imagine we're gonna get um, a fit team, a, t- a team of you know that are, that are well drilled and, and very. Um, very fit. I'd imagine a lot of players that have probably come down from a higher level, whether that's one or two steps above. Um, well organised. I know your, your, your manager's experience has been has been in the leagues as well, so we expect a well organised, um, experienced back four, very solid. Um, but again, with pre season, you, you never know what the managers decide going to decide to do. Whether they're going to try a few new players out, or they're going to try a few new. Um, Positions or sort of formations, so it's always interesting. I think last year, from right, was it one one last year? Yeah, it was a draw last year. I think it yeah, was. So I think you know, for us, it's just about pre season is always about fitness, about getting players together, letting them play, um, and, and blowing the cobwebs off. I suppose towards more business end of pre season, that's when you expect to see things clicking and coming together. But um, from what I remember last time, it was a good game, well contested. You know, your fans were great. I had a good chat with your chairman and a lot, a lot more of the board and committee and some of the new fans who were obviously at that point still really excited about the project that was your new club. So uh, I expect more of the same on Saturday. Oh, well, that's it. We're looking forward to a good day out. I know the the beer around Cheadle's good. It's cold and it's wet. Um, it is, but yeah. what can the fans expect from a trip to the Park Road Stadium, match day experience wise? There's a, I mean, I shouldn't really be saying this because we want the lads to, and, and, and the ladies who come to the game to come to our ground as early as possible. But there's a lovely new place opened up on the end of the road called the Wobbly Stamp. Um, it's got lots of craft ales and sort of beers from all over the world. So that's a cool place to start. Uh, and then, you know, walk yourself down Park Road to the stadium. Plenty of good food and offer. One thing you always get is comments on our, our burgers and pies and, and what we've got on offer. Got lots of different beers and ciders as well. One thing that a lot of um, people say when they come to our stand is they love the grandstand. We've, we're probably one of the only clubs in the country that have got one of the, still one of the big grandstands, a very high, old-fashioned stand with a couple of hundred capacity. So getting a seat and, and, and a, or somewhere to stand in there, especially on a poor, on a poor weather day, is, is always key. 
Uh, but yeah, we like to think everyone at the club volunteers and staff alike are all very friendly and welcoming. We love dogs to come in as well. So if you've got your dog, please bring uh, bring them as well. Um, so yeah, I just expect a, a good, friendly, welcoming atmosphere from everybody. Fantastic. Excellent. Maybe we can send them to the craft beer place after because it's an early kickoff, isn't it? So yeah, two o'clock. Two o'clock. yeah I think we've done it because so, there's a couple of games on Euros before and after the game. So, I, I, you know, we're going to have that on in the clubhouse as well. So people want to get down early or stay around after the, we've got the big screen on in the clubhouse to watch those games. Excellent. And my final question for you, score prediction. Oof. Now, I promise Dexton Villa's manager a pint if he got it right. Right, and they okay. scored, uh, and and they scored one too many goals, so he didn't get his pint. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say three two to us. Excellent. Well, it'd be a great game. I'm not going to give my score prediction because <laughs> I'm a jinx. Um, but no, it's been brilliant having you on, Craig. We're looking forward to coming down on Saturday, and um, you know, good. Well, good luck for the rest of the season as well, because. Um, you too. We're in the other league. Excellent. Thanks a lot for having me and bringing me on the show and I'll uh, look forward to seeing you all Saturday. Thank you very much to Craig Brennan from Cheadle Town FC for coming on the show and telling us all about what to expect this Saturday at the Park Road Stadium. If you want to get your tickets, they are still available on the Cheadle Town website. We will drop a link in the description of the video. Talking about buying tickets, your season tickets are on sale at berryafc.uk as well as pre-orders for the new away shirt. This is the old one. I was hoping I'd have my new one, but it's being posted out tomorrow. Also, there are tickets for the two home friendlies. They are now on sale on the Berry AFC website. And if you've been admiring uh, Greavesy over my shoulder here, you can order one of those at cardplugs.com. I will drop a link in the description for that as well. And if you use our voucher code, you will save, um, I think it's 10 or 12% on your purchase. And you can get your own card with your picture or you can get one with Greavesy. I'll get one with me on. It's fine. It's excellent. But thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, and we'll be back next week speaking to someone from Squires Gate. Cheers. 